Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. Uh, this was sent by the Apex Passron Group, but I can't remember what it is that I signed up for, so we're going to find out together. Uh, thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. If you'd like to get your hands on some cool stickers and some other exclusive perks and benefits, there is, of course, a link right down in the description. You're supporting me in the world to me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. Alrighty, let's dig in here. Uh, okay, what do we have? Look at that razor precision. All right, some paper, wonderful, and we have a wee knife. Okay, that's good. Um, I always, it seems like there's not been as many wee knives on the channel as of late, so I'm always excited to take a look at another one. What is this? Oh, okay, all right, this is. <laughs> It says 2002A. I can't remember what this is called. The, 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 the title will have the name of this in here. Here we go. Ready? Are we on the right side? Yeah, that's cool. Um, okay, so right off the bat, I don't know how I feel about um, the, uh, the OD green inlays with the... Is this... Yeah, the carbon fiber. Um, I like the... In, the if this was all black right here, which I'm sure they have a version of, I will link, I know this knife is available. I will link this, this knife down below, but just, some people are going to like this color. With the bronze hardware, which we always does a good job of, and then you've got like the grays and the blacks, right? I want, me, I'd want the black ones, but right there, I mean, talk about just awesome. And, uh, wait a sec. No, that's not sharp on both sides. Boy, it looked like it was. No, it's got a false edge. Right there, yeah. False edge, but man, nice and symmetrical, nice looking knife. I mean, if I wanted a little dagger EDC, this is a great one. Right off the bat, really cool. Nice uh, flipping action, very lightweight, very snappy. Ooh, yeah, I like this. I'm guessing the blade, what's the blade steel here? What does it say? Right there. Yes, 35 VN, and then there's the designer Lundquist design, right? Is that what that says? Yeah, Lundquist. I'm a big fan of that aesthetic. You guys know I like knives that are symmetrical. You can get a full XL gloves, what I wear. You can get a full purchase on this if you want. If you <laughs> wouldn't be, I uh, wouldn't be bearing down super hard on this. You can see it's pretty, it's pretty thin on the blade stock there. But uh, I mean, it's, if you want a fancy dagger looking little kind of, I don't know, it makes me think of a classic stiletto. Always. I, I have this odd fascination with swing guard stilettos for a long not the regular swivel guards, but the first automatic, one of the first automatic knives that I ever picked up, and this was like a d over a decade ago, was a swing guard, uh, it was a cheap swing guard uh, uh, stiletto, and I just loved how those looked, right, so it's neat to see, I don't know, kind of a modern take on that, I think styles like this will be popular in their own little area for a long time. I just, I don't know, I like the simplicity of this. I also like that they've put this little area where you can pick up, I mean, because it's it makes sense to hold the knife like this if you're going to cut open it. I mean, it's this is kind of like a tactical letter opener, right? <laughs> and to do that, I would, or to open a package or something, I would just hold it like this. So that's nice. These are not choke up points, not at all. Problem with these, you know, knives like this is you have to be cognizant of where the pocket clip is so you know where to disengage it, right? You can absolutely close it like this, even though it's because of the hinderer maximus, which is actually sharp on both sides, that I always want to use the flipper tab to close it, but you absolutely can do this because it's not sharp up there. But if you're on this side and you're reaching and you're trying to find what feels like the liner lock and you accidentally put your finger on that side, you're gonna get a little slice. This is cool, it'll be a fun one to review. Guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's short little unboxing. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Like I said, this knife will be listed right down in the description, along with Wee Knives in general, if you want to check them out. If you decide to use my links, it does benefit my channel, so I would appreciate that. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe, because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.